morning <laughs> or afternoon. My day kind of started out a little bit, you know, kind of weird because the time change and everything, I forgot, um, well, I set, my, I set my alarm, but I think I set it to p.m. instead of a.m. And my body, since of the time change and everything, it just kept sleeping. I was like, ah. Anyway, Bentley, my cute little three pound Yorkie, he must have like known that, you know, mommy's supposed to be up, get ready for church. So he was like right here on me, just looking at me like, like, come on, come on. And I'm like, Bentley, what are you doing? Like, stop it, stop it. Anyway, so after just him annoying the heck out of me, I opened my eyes and I'm like, oh, what time is it? Oh my gosh, I gotta go to church. I'm gonna miss, I'm like, ah! Hour past my time that I was supposed to get up. <laughs> so I hurried and just like rinsed off and put some clothes on and threw some makeup on and headed out the door. But uh, what I forgot was, oh, and I couldn't wash my hair, so I had to do the silly ponytail thing um, because it was just like so bad. It was one of those days where you just cannot not wash your hair. That was my day today. <laughs> but you know what? God didn't care. He loved me anyway. And all my friends, they just thought I decided on pony day, ponytail day for nothing. So anyway, I got ready to go and I went out the door and I forgot to spray my dossier perfume. And all day long, I was like, kind of like, like, I don't stink really because I did shower, but I don't know. I just felt like I was missing something. That is the key because I have this routine that I go through. I, you know, get showered. Um, clothes on, makeup, hair, and then I turn around and I try to decide what scent I want. What am I feeling today? Am I feeling like, hmm, fruity almond? Or am I feeling like ambery orange blossom? <laughs> and I missed the whole step. So, when I got home, I... I was like, well, I don't really want to waste it because I'm just going to be around the house, you know? So maybe I should just not put any on today. It is an option, Jody. you know? It is your body. It is your stuff. But then I was like, I gotta, I don't, I don't know. I don't feel right. I have to finish that last step of getting ready. So anyway, I decided that I would put on my favorite scent, um, and just enjoy it myself. <laughs> so, this is the last scent that I have purchased myself. Now, I'll show you what I have. Oh my gosh, so much. But this is Fruity Almond, and it, let's see, has top notes of almond peach, um, middle notes of orange blossom and tuberose, um, the base notes are tonka bean, vanilla, and something. Oh, cocoa. <laughs> anyway, um, it is inspired by, blah, 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 inspired by Carolina Herrera, Good Girl. So that was like my favorite, favorite, favorite scent when I was like buying like uh, brand name stuff. So I was really curious to see if this was gonna hold up and really, 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 really gonna be the thing. And guess what? It is. Now, since I didn't put it on this morning, I can't test the longevity of it, but uh, I will do that and I'll get back to you. So anyway, it's called Fruity Almond. And I don't know if you can see that. It is a very, very, I don't know, I already sprayed it on me, but I'll spray some more. Mm. It's a light scent, and that's what I like. I like light, clean scent, and this is a very nice light scent. It's got a little bit of, mm, I don't know, it doesn't really have that heavy must or the vanilla scent. It has more of 
don't know. What does it have more of? I don't know. Maybe orange blossom? Maybe? It's just a very, it's a little bit sweet, but not overly sweet where you're like, ugh. You know, and it's not musky and heavy, you know, like nighttime wear or whatever. It's just kind of that middle ground where I think that pretty much, you know, everyone will like it. So anyway, that's my current one. And I, um, actually I'm going to keep it out of the box because <laughs> I'm going to use it. Keep it in here. Now I'm going to show you, um, I've got a lot of different sets. Sense. But before I forget, you guys all know that I'm an ambassador for Dossier. Dossier is a quality brand that uh, cuts out the middleman. So you get quality stuff like fruity almond that smells or inspired by your favorite scent. And instead of paying $120 for good girl Carolina Herrera, you can pay $25 to $30, sometimes 40, I think they go up that price range, for Fruity Almond. It's a great deal. Anyway, and they also have like, they have great return policies. They have uh, bulk shipping. Um, they have a point system where you can buy. The more you buy, then you get discounts. And it just, they just have like everything that you would want it want in a company and now they are over they're in over 144 stores worldwide and they just recently showed up at walmart i know while you're shopping get a little groceries get a little clothes and then pick up some dossier <laughs> anyway i love it and because I love it and because that I am their ambassador, I have a discount, lo discount link for you. And it will be in the description below this video. If you push show more, it'll come down and then you'll see the link. And if you use my link, use the discount code. It's right beside, I think it's Jody W. And you will get 5% off. I know it's not much, but when something is this, you know, inexpensive, they don't really give me a very good, you know, very high discount rate. But 5% is better than nothing. And yeah, so if you buy three or four, get 5% off. Not bad. Not a bad thing. Um, yeah, so that's it. All right. I am going to, one more time, mm. <sighs> now my husband will like it. I mean, I always think, oh, I don't want to waste her, I'm not going out, but hubby's here. You want to smell good for him, right? <laughs> All right, now I'm going to put this back and I'm going to show you something. This is my dossier collection. It's crazy. I have Amber Orange Blossom, which is another one of my favorites. Uh, uh, Fruity Almond, of course. Uh, Oriental Tobacco, that's a man scent. That's my husband's. Woody Rum, Hubby's. Uh, floral rhubarb that was really good, but it's gone. I gotta get more so But anyway This thing I thought was pretty pretty cool, too All right, you guys Now that I have um, Smelled myself up nice and good I am going to Get going Okay, you guys, I have to do something productive because I have been stuck in bed the last couple of days and I'm getting depressed. Um, that seems to happen when I am not up and moving, whenever I succumb to <laughs> my ailments. Um, yeah, I just... I can't stand being in bed. It just is so incredibly, I don't know. It's like once I go down, 
um, I just have the hardest time getting back up again and just being straight honest with you. And I think it's not because of the physical. I think it's because of the mental. I get, I don't know, I just get depressed and think, why am I bothering? Why am I trying to keep going? You know, cancer's going to kill me anyway. Why don't I just lay here and make things happen from here? You know, like have... You know, be be a typical cancer patient and just say, come to me, bring me my food. Not really. But, you know, I just can't do it. I just, I have to be up and moving. I have to be doing whatever my body will let me do or else I can't stand it. I just get too depressed. And now I'm having a hard time getting out of the depression. <sighs> so I thought I'd go ahead and do some work. I have tons of admin stuff to do to, bleh, admin, can I even speak? <laughs> admin stuff to do today. Admin stuff to do today. Say that five times. Um, so I'm going to do that, but I haven't eaten anything all day. I'm having the hardest time eating anything. I just like, I had a half a cookie, which usually a cookie goes down. Woo, easy peasy. Couldn't do it. My stomach just like hurt and I felt nauseous. I just couldn't do it. So, um, I decided to get up and cook some dinner for my hubby, and it's not going to be anything exciting, it's, but I'm going to show you everything I eat, so, um, here it goes. Today we are having tofu and, uh, rice, and then I'm going to uh, grab some veggies out of the freezer and either do stir fry or steam them or something, I don't know. But I do know that I'm craving something a little bit spicy and a little bit crunchy. So I am going to add some spice to my tofu along with, um, I put cornstarch in there, some uh, corn powder, corn powder, cornstarch powder in, um, in my bag and I'm going to make me some crispy spicy tofu and rice and veggies and hopefully I can eat it I don't know it just sounds good so I was gonna do like cabbage tacos make some cut some tofu up and do some stuff or just put some veggies I, I use mushrooms a lot of times in place of meat but I was out of mushrooms today so and um, so tofu it is. I don't. I try not to eat too much tofu because what they say about tofu and breast cancer, blah blah blah. Even though my cancer is not hormone driven, you know, who knows? Ten years from now, they'll say, "Oh, soy is really good for you, breast cancer," and then I'll be like, "Dang it!" and I missed out. So I just try to keep it in moderation. But a lot of times I'll do like a big old mushroom. I'll saute it up with some. Uh, uh, taco seasoning and stuff and then I'll make tacos out of it but that plan fell through when I was out of my mushrooms so we're gonna go ahead with this and and my steamer is making a lot of funny noises today can you hear that it's never done that before I hope it's not going out Ugh, I use it all the time all right, and while I do that, I am getting the the water drained out of my tofu so I can season, put the seasonings and stuff in there. But I also have dishes to do, so I'm gonna put you guys over here. And, okay, so I'm gonna put you over here and I am going to unload the dishwasher. Okay, you guys. I have to do something productive because I have been stuck in bed the last couple of days and I'm getting depressed. Um, that seems to happen when I am not up and moving. Whenever I succumb to <laughs> my ailments, um, yeah, I just, I can't stand being in bed. It just is so incredibly, I don't know. 
it's like once I go down, um, I just have the hardest time getting back up again and just being straight honest with you. And I think it's not because of the physical. I think it's because of the mental. I get, I don't know, I just get depressed and think, why am I bothering? Why am I trying to keep going? You know, cancer's going to kill me anyway. Why don't I just lay here and make things happen from here? You know, like have... You know, be be a typical cancer patient and just say, come to me, bring me my food. Not really. But, you know, I just can't do it. I just, I have to be up and moving. I have to be doing whatever my body will let me do or else I can't stand it. I just get too depressed. And now I'm having a hard time getting out of the depression. <sighs> so I thought I'd go ahead and do some work. I have tons of admin stuff to do to, bleh, admin, can I even speak? <laughs> admin stuff to do today. Admin stuff to do today. Say that five times. Um, so I'm going to do that, but I haven't eaten anything all day. I'm having the hardest time eating anything. I just like, I had a half a cookie, which usually a cookie goes down. Woo, easy peasy. Couldn't do it. My stomach just like hurt and I felt nauseous. I just couldn't do it. So, um, I decided to get up and cook some dinner for my hubby, and it's not going to be anything exciting, it's, but I'm going to show you everything I eat, so, um, here it goes. Today we are having tofu and, uh, rice, and then I'm going to uh, grab some veggies out of the freezer and either do stir fry or steam them or something, I don't know. But I do know that I'm craving something a little bit spicy and a little bit crunchy. So I am going to add some spice to my tofu along with, um, I put cornstarch in there, some uh, corn powder, corn powder, cornstarch powder in, um, in my bag and I'm going to make me some crispy spicy tofu and rice and veggies and hopefully I can eat it I don't know it just sounds good so I was gonna do like cabbage tacos make some cut some tofu up and do some stuff or just put some veggies I, I use mushrooms a lot of times in place of meat but I was out of mushrooms today so and um, so tofu it is. I don't. I try not to eat too much tofu because what they say about tofu and breast cancer, blah blah blah. Even though my cancer is not hormone driven, you know, who knows? Ten years from now, they'll say, "Oh, soy is really good for you, breast cancer," and then I'll be like, "Dang it!" and I missed out. So I just try to keep it in moderation. But a lot of times I'll do like a big old mushroom. I'll saute it up with some. Uh, uh, taco seasoning and stuff and then I'll make tacos out of it but that plan fell through when I was out of my mushrooms so we're gonna go ahead with this and and my steamer is making a lot of funny noises today can you hear that it's never done that before I hope it's not going out Ugh, I use it all the time all right, and while I do that, I am getting the the water drained out of my tofu so I can season, put the seasonings and stuff in there. But I also have dishes to do, so I'm gonna put you guys over here. And, okay, so I'm gonna put you over here and I am going to unload the dishwasher. Whoops. Fiesta wear. I love my Fiesta wear. It's got all, I've got 
got like five or six different colors and I love them. My daughter-in-law, uh, when she moved, gifted these all to me and so I got rid of all my old ugly stuff and um, been using these and I love them. Fiesta Wear comes in so many different colors and they keep coming up with more colors. There's a turquoise one that I want to get next, definitely. Kind of an eggshell turquoise color and I just thought it was so pretty. Like right now, I have yellow, I have blue, I have green, I have dark purple, like an eggplant, or no, wait, that, that's, all right, I think that's black, never mind. I have a dark eggplant purple one too. Pink, of course. <laughs> and then I want, to get the turquoise and turquoise and the sunflower bright yellow ones. I have some yellow, but not a full set, so I want to get those. And then these I have are just my favorite soup bowls or salad bowls or serving bowls ever. They are just like the perfect size. I love it. And I only have like four of them because there's only, you know, a couple of us eating usually, but I'd like to invest in more in those. It, um, the water pressure was so bad in our old house, <laughs> it, it didn't clean anything, so had to do it all by hand. And now you would think that I'm being tortured because I have to take them out of the dishwasher. Shame on me. Shame, shame on me. You guys are learning all my dirty secrets. Oh, my goodness. All right, be thankful, be grateful, be kind and everything. That was in my devotion today. Um, I have been doing a podcast or listening to a podcast by Candice Burr, uh, Cameron, Cameron, Cam, Candice Cameron Burr. <laughs> She's the little girl that was on uh, Full House in the day. And then she was on, um, she was on Dancing with the Stars. She's been in a million different Christmas Hallmark uh, movies. Um, she was on The View for a while, a long time ago. Um, I can't believe, I mean, she's been in so many different things. Anyway, she has a Christian podcast out, and I've been going through it today was the last one. And, um, she, at the end of each segment, she would say, um, be kind, uh, I'll be grateful, be kind in everything you do, be grateful and be kind. And I thought, you know what, so simple, so simple. And yet, sometimes, you know, you just, you just forget. You really do. And so today, I am being grateful. Even though I don't feel like I want to be grateful. And I'm gonna Oh, that's going to fit. Turn those around. Even though I don't feel like being grateful, I am. I'm going to do it. All right. Now, I hope you guys aren't getting sick with me taking you around by the hand. <laughs> All right. So, I am going to start um, getting the tofu ready, I think. Let me see if I can get you guys up here without dropping you. All right. Hello there. Okay, so what I'm going to do, this still needs to kind of drain a little bit more. So I have, I don't know, like three, four tablespoons of, um, oh, crap. <laughs> now I'm going to be mopping the floor on top of things. I didn't have it shut. You guys, what am I going to do with me? <sighs> okay, I had, <laughs> I had two or three spoon, two spoonfuls in here, and now I have got probably one left. Let me show you what I did. 
Look at this. Can you imagine? What a ding dong. Okay. So this is the deal. <laughs> I am going to put you on pause and I'm going to clean this mess up. Then I'm going to show you how I'm going to season the heck out of this tofu. <laughs> ay ay ay. Okay. Let's try this one more time. All right. I'm going to put the seasonings in here and keep it upright this time, you guys. I'm not going to like pour it over. And I don't even know what I want in here. Hmm. Don't know. I do not know. We're going to need that. We're going to need a little bit of olive oil. Just a tad bit in there. So what we're going to do, I'm going to spray that down, I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil in, um, so you can see you, I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil over the, the tofu, I'm not going to put it in the bag because it just gets kind of sticky and yuck, but I am going to, after, I open this the right direction and not spill it this time. I'm going to put onion powder and what I do is, I know I should like measure this out or something, but I don't. I just like, I'll show you. I just do that <laughs> like it maybe two or three spoonfuls and depends on how much onion you like in your, you know, stuff, I guess a little bit of garlic and a little bit of salt plain old salt I usually use sea salt but I didn't this time so anyway that and then I'm going to use some uh, spice, it's called spicy chili lime. It just comes like it's in a seasoning and I'm going to put some of that in. And that is what it's going to give it a little bit of a kick. And I might put some paprika. Hmm. Coconut amino. I like that the best, I think. And what I'm going to do with the seasoning or the liquids, I'm going to put them in here. Super easy. And I just fill the pan. I mean, not, you know, or the bottom of it. Just has to be enough to kind of coat it all. So it's not, you know, overboard. Kind of like that. If you can see that. And then, this is the messy stuff. I'm going to put my tofu. I'm going to get, wow, that was really soppy tofu. Hopefully it got all the water out. Bum, bum, bum. You guys ever seen Scream? Or is that the shower thing? I don't know. They all have it in the horror movies. Anyway. All right. So now I'm going to cut up my tofu in little pieces. Smaller pieces. Kind of the better because they get crispier. But you don't have to. You can do big flat pieces. I mean, it's just whatever you want. Ever smokes your tofu britches you can do all right this is like super 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 sloppy put you in there all right now I did this pieces kind of like like that and now I'm just gonna lay them carefully into the 
mixture and it doesn't have to be in there very 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 long because tofu remember is a sponge so whatever liquids whatever you put on in it it's going to adopt that flavor so i'm going to do that one first and yeah these are already falling apart but it tastes good either way all right so now comes the fun stuff where's my what i do is let me see i'll show you see if i can show you how much see i just coated it and now i'm going to spoon it into my little baggie sometimes i just pour the um what do you call it um mixture over the the tofu stuff but this gets it better coated i think and yeah just gets all the sides in there better so it just seems like it does better all right now a little tiny bit in there and now I'm going to close the bag <laughs> don't don't do what I did close the bag <laughs> and then gently don't shake it like you would do like a chicken or something because this ain't your mama's chicken this stuff is very sensitive to the touch so you just kind of want to upside down a little bit make sure that it's coated nicely all right now i wait until that timer goes off and i take my olive oil and I take probably two, cu two cups full or two capfuls and I sprinkle it in all around on my uh, tofu. And then I put the tofu in there and air fry it for usually 15 to 20 minutes. And that is, then it's done. My rice already finished so i'm going to keep that on warm make sure that it get, absorbs all the liquids and stuff out of it i was out of my vegetable <sighs> broth to put in with my um what do you call it rice today so i just used water so it's going to be kind of blah so we'll probably have to put some seasoning or something on afterwards We'll find out. All right. Now I'll be back after I figure out what vegetable to make. Okay, sorry about the lighting, you guys. The sun's starting to go down. Let me see if I can go this way. Anyway, all right, I am done and I'm like actually shaking. I'm starting to get that hungry. That's what happens when you are on insulin and then you don't eat your sugar starts to drop. But let me just show you what it looks like. It looks like just plain old tofu, but it's crunchy. I don't know if you can see that. And let's see what it tastes like. Mmm. Alright you guys, so I actually decided to get dressed <laughs> not wear my pajamas to church. Are you guys proud or what? <laughs> so what I am wearing today was gifted from Sheen. I think it is S-H-E-I-N. I've heard people call it Sheen, but I think it's Sheen. Let's go with it. Anyway, they donated this beautiful blouse with the cute little ruffle around the collar. And then they, um, this cute little vest that's got like little puff sleeves. I think the puff sleeves are not puff sleeves, padded 
sleeves are supposed to be up here a little bit more, but it's cute. I like it. Very, very cute. And then I've got my good old Spanx um, faux leggings on, of course. And I have got, hmm, what are these? These are Adidas, um, all white, ah, as I fall over, <laughs> platform tennis shoes. And these were gifted from Nordstrom's. So there you have it. And I feel quite fancy. And let's see, I'm going to wear a coat. Let me show you the coat. All right, and then I got this nice, beautiful, wonderful wool coat. I was waiting for ever to get a coat because in California, like I said, you buy a nice coat and then you wear it once and then 10 years later, it's cold enough to wear it again. And then the style changes or what have you. So anyway, I thought, you know what? It has been cold and it's gonna be cold for a little bit longer, it says. And it's gonna be raining and all that, all that good stuff. And I'm always cold all the way down. So what I decided to do is I went on Mango um, and they had their 70% off uh, sale items. And so I found, I didn't want to invest $200 in a coat. I just didn't want, and it just was like, not when I'm going to wear it maybe a handful of times. So. I got this very nice coat that was like $2.49 on like original and it's wool. It's nice and it's lined and it's nice and cozy and I love it and it's gray. Um, and I got it, I don't know, I think I, I got it for under 50 bucks. So that is a deal. In fact, Mango has an amazing sale going right now. I will uh, drop a link below if you guys want to check them out. There's like, I don't know, discounts on a bunch of stuff, even knitwear, some springwear too. Some of their cute little crop jackets are um, on sale, which I was really surprised about. Anyway, okay, I am off to church. All right, so off we go uh, to church. Uh, first, we need to go pick up the grandkids because they are going tonight with us. Um, my daughter-in-law doesn't want to take the newborn baby out when it's, you know, at night and it's really cold. And it's kind of a late night. Um, and usually she's really tired. <laughs> so it's her time to kind of oh, get things done with the other kids being gone. And I totally get that. So anyway, um, uh, yeah, so we're on our... We're with the kids tonight, um, and it's going to be all praise and worship tonight. That was, I think that's going to be really good, especially for my soul. And also, I just had a friend uh, text me, and um, she's got a young child and an older, like an adult child. And she just found out her cancer came back, and she's young. She's so young. Oh, my gosh. Um... I mean, young, old, it doesn't matter. I mean, who wants to get cancer, right? Um, that was a stupid comment. People said that to me and I always thought, how stupid is that? <sighs> anyway, <laughs> repeating the things that, I ir that irritate me. Um, anyway, so I asked her if she could possibly come tonight. It would be really good. We'd go to the same church anyway. So, um, you know, so maybe we could pray together and... Um, I can offer her some comfort and vice versa. All right, and the doctor did not get back to me, not as of yet, and it is like 5, 5, 10. Um, and normally he would call, or she would call, um, you know, by now. Although one time the doctor called at like 8 o'clock at night. That was weird. Um, okay. I am done. I don't want to make you guys sick holding it in the car. <laughs> yeah, that was not me. That was Mr. No, Mr. There's, there's <laughs> yes, that's it. All right, you guys, catch you later. Me? Can you say hi to everybody? Huh? Whoop. Say hi, everybody. I just need to get some loving from my mama. I just gotta get some loving from my mama, huh? He needs a bath, you smelly old dog. 
It's just been so cold here. I just don't want to give them a bath and make them all like shivery. Make you all shivery. But baby boy don't like to be dirty, huh? Yeah, I love you. You're such a good dog. All right. Good morning, everybody. So today um, is a very nerve-wracking day. <laughs> Just to be honest with you, um, I had the hardest time getting out of bed and getting to work. Yesterday, um, we went to church for a worship and prayer uh, service, which was amazing. But, uh, and also, uh, my friend and I, who both have cancer, we went down for prayer and um, had the pastor pray over us. You know, asking for healing, asking for strength, asking for wisdom. And um, it was an emotional time, but it was cleansing. Um, it felt good to take the mask off and uh, allow others to see me vulnerable, I guess, crying and not always, you know. So I think that um, that was a good a good thing for me to be able to do that because I I'm not really good at that at all. <laughs> I have the hardest time of asking for prayer, um, asking for help. Uh, so yeah. So it just, you know, I just felt like I needed, I needed, I needed to be prayed for. I needed that. And, um, yeah, it was kind of, <coughs> sorry about that, guys. <coughs> it was kind of, um, kind of, no, I don't want to say funny, but it was kind of, kind of funny. Uh, my friend that just got, uh, diagnosed with stage three cancer. Um, this is her second round of cancer. Um, she was in remission for a while and then it came back just recently. Found out yesterday actually. So we were, we uh, went up for prayer together and when we got up there, the, the elder says, what can I pray for you about, you girls about? And we both were like, we have cancer. I mean, it was like, he probably thought, both of you? <laughs> but true biz, true biz, um, we both have cancer. So that's what we need prayer over. That was a good time. But um, on the way home, um, I don't know if it's, because I have had um, an increase in my shots, my uh, trial med, that made me so incredibly nauseous. It was just not good. And also, I think that the dose is too high because it is bottoming out my glucose level and I keep getting these spells of like when your sugar crashes and you start feeling kind of lightheaded and um, clammy feeling and then I just break out in cold sweats it is not fun um, that happened and luckily we were on our way out to the car to leave to go home. Um, and I had put a bag of dried fruit in the car just in case I had, an, you know, like a crash. So I uh, barely made it to the car and I was just like cramming the dried fruit in, like, come on, hurry, hurry, hurry. Work, 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 work. <laughs> and it just, oh my gosh, it took a good hour before I could stop the shakes and stuff. It was not fun. 
But then I got home and I was so nauseous for hours. Um, I have Zofran, uh, so I took one of those and that, that started to work after about 30 minutes, 45 minutes, and I was able to fall asleep eventually. I think I fell asleep like at 3 a.m. So when the alarm goes off at 6 a.m., I just, I was like, I can't. And that is what my medical accommodation is for, for, you know, when my body doesn't cooperate. So I used a couple hours of my ADA accommodation time, which I'm so grateful that I have. I don't know how I could even attempt to work or do anything without that. So that was a huge blessing. But, um, so I got ready and I had a huge order that came in. Um, I got some bits and pieces, um, bits and bops, as my mom would say, <laughs> uh, from, let's see, Nang <laughs> Mango, <gasps> Naked Fashion. Uh, I'm trying to think where the other one was. For oh, Sheen. And I think that's it, those three. So, um... I am going on my next break because I'm just on a break. I have to go back in and work. I want to go through those with you and show you um, what I ordered. I was super excited. They were purchased, all the clothes were purchased with vouchers, which means um, they were gifted, but I got to choose what I wanted which I love. Brands often will send stuff, but it's just whatever they're promoting and they want you to promote, um, but not things that I actually ordered or chose. So this is the sec, I wanna say only the second time that I have gotten to choose uh, items and shop and um, yeah get gifted clothes in that manner so I was again grateful I am practicing gratefulness today uh, sometimes when you don't feel good and you're kind of feeling down if you just start verbalizing the smallest of things that you are grateful for all of a sudden this thing happens and you are actually grateful. <laughs> I mean, it, it's true. I don't know if they've done studies on it, but it works, it works for me. I've talked to many people who it has worked for them as well. So um, I am practicing gratefulness. Now I am I'm struggling uh, because I have not heard back about my PET scan and I had it done Saturday morning, no Monday, okay, take it back. What is today, Thursday, yeah, okay. I had it Monday, Monday morning. So Tuesday, Wednesday, and she, she said that she would get right back to me with the results. So I'm like, uh, is, does she mean like right back tomorrow, right back now? And I always hate to be like the whiny one that complains and calls the nurse and bugs her, you know, and says, can you please ask the doctor, you know, if my results are in? But um, I went ahead and I was that person today. <laughs> I did not call yesterday. I wanted to call yesterday, but I re- Framed. I was giving the system time to work. So I went ahead and I called today and I had to leave a message for her. And I am anxiously awaiting um, a call back from uh, my oncologist to see if my PET scan is showing the same as my CT scan and that 
what they're looking at is the spot on my lower left lobe of my lung. Um, I am hoping, I know it's like last Hail Mary, like please, 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 you know, hope the other one's wrong. I hope this one shows like just scar tissue. Um, what she did say was a possibility, but she didn't think so. So, but I'm going with, it's a possibility. <laughs> um, yeah, I am, because that would be really great. However, in the event that it is not what I'm praying for, then um, I have, a, I already have a scheduled an appointment with the surgeon for a possible uh, lungectomy where they take the lower part of, well, they take the, the tumor out and then they take your margin, so they take the lower left lobe of the lung. And I guess that um, I would be a strong candidate based on where the tumor in my lung is. So again, grateful. <laughs> Could have been in the middle or place where they couldn't get to it. You can't take my whole lung out. I don't, well, you have two. I don't know if they do a whole, I don't know, but I don't want to. So let's not even go there. So I have that scheduled, but I think first, I mean, there was so much information coming at me uh, that I, I just, this is usually where I take somebody with me. And I always tell all the people that I'm counseling and working with, always take somebody with you. But, because you will miss things, you will forget to ask things. And of course, I didn't do what I always tell everybody to do. I'm such a ding dong. Oh, but too late now. But I do kind of remember her saying that I would have a biopsy. They wouldn't just rush in and take part of my lung away. They would, they would biopsy it first. So that is also good and very grateful for that. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting, 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 and praying, and praying, and praying. So, all right, I gotta get back to work. But when I get out, I am going to show you the lovely bits and bobs that I got. I am so excited. We're getting ready for spring. And even though it's freezing cold right now and it's supposed to rain tomorrow, uh, again, which by the way, I'm grateful for because California has been in a drought for a long time. So all of this rain and stuff is so amazing. Um, one thing, now this is just my opinion, so if you don't agree, that is absolutely 100% your prerogative. But since it's my channel, I can say my opinion. I think everyone's like, oh, global warming, and that's why it's raining so much. I'm like, uh, hmm, I don't think so. It's that we have been in a drop for a really long time, and the natural progression of things is we need rain, and it is happening. So it's like, gee, it's almost like God knows how to take care of the earth. I don't know, you know, I'm like, hmm. And he's like, okay, you guys need, you need rain, I'm giving it to you. And it is raining and we need it. So thank you for that. But I do not think it's global warming that is making it rain in California. <laughs> I'm just so tired of hearing it. But anyway, I digress, as I said, my prerogative, my channel, and my opinion. Hi guys, all right, it is the end of my uh, video. I hope you enjoyed it, my vlog. Um, it was a week. It was a week of waiting, it was a week of um, stress, <laughs> waiting for scans to come back again, and I think it's taken an emotional like toll on me. And another thing that I have been having a lot more pain, um, which 
I'm thinking it's probably because of the Mets and still my bones and stuff. It's just starting to irritate and put more inflammation in. So I've been dealing with that and everything, but I just feel really kind of just ugh, tired. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys found worth in something that I put out this week. If you do, hit the thumbs up. And if you haven't already done this, it's completely, totally free. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button and get all set that notification bell so you don't miss any uploads and see what the next week brings and what happens. All right, you guys, I'm out of here. I hope you guys had a blessed week. I um, am always praying for you guys. I think of you often and I do read your comments. I know I haven't been able to get on and answer very many of them recently, but I do read them and I try to address them in the videos. So, I'll see you guys in the next video.